hi there welcome back to the new video and in this video I will show you the scatter chart but for categorical data in the previous videos you must have seen that we have used both the numeric variables on x-axis and y-axis and showed the scatter plot and that's how usually the scatter plot is created but what if if you have scatter uh, or categorical data and you need to create a scatter chart well seaborn has an advantage over here where it allows to pick the categorical data and helps you create the scatter chart let's see how we can create it so the data set we have been using is same if i just show you over here and uh, to create the chart we will say sns dot cat plot which is categoric plot and over here we want to take uh, on x-axis we want to take uh, let's say uh, ship mode maybe or whatever your interest is like order priority or province or region whatever you want to take and y-axis is sales and uh, data is the sales object the pandas object over here and if you see this is the categorical data the regular air delivery truck and express here and this is a scatter chart basically showing you up until over here the data is really dense but after that it becomes uh, you know uh, pretty much evident that uh, there is a displacement or the space in the data that means uh, it is it is a bit open space as compared to the dense space so dense space is indicating that more and more or most of the business is happening over there so that's a very quick way how you can create a scatter plot along with the categorical features like shipping mode over here. Another important uh, feature or a useful feature is let's say you don't want to show this width or you don't want you don't have an interest in the width maybe for your particular use case. So you can use the parameter which is uh, jitter and so this is called basically jittering which shows the magnitude in the data but if you don't want to see the magnitude you can just get a line like this which sometimes shows uh, the data patterns more clearly as compared to the magnitude but sometimes magnitude is important so we have both the features in hand which we which we may want to use based on the scenario uh, that that we want to tackle apart from this what we can basically take is uh, or what we can basically do is querying the data directly in the cat plot or in any uh, SNS or the Seaborn plot. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. So I've not copied this, copied this and paste it over here. The only difference was uh, jitter was not present. and. Um, we can have a dot notation over here after the pandas data set and say query within query within double quotation we can mention let's say for example we want to show where profit is greater than 1000 right so if we execute this again you know the data is shown but uh, only for those data points where profit is greater than 1000 so this is also an amazing or a good uh, feature where you want some customization into the data set you can directly do it here and uh, see the impact now apart from this what you have is um, is a swarm plot which is another very beautiful plot that you can create to show the magnitude of data so I'll just copy this and uh, instead of jitter equals to false I will write kind equals to in double quotation swarm so this when we create this is how you know a swarm plot really looks like wherever the magnitude is high it shows then the magnitude is low and uh, so on and so forth so this way um, it becomes really evident up until which part the magnitude is high and then how the magnitude really looks like uh, when you go a little bit on the upper side over here at, at least specific to this chart it the the curve may be different for a different type of data for example in the middle you may have more magnitude but not on the lower end or the higher end 
right so things like that uh, becomes really evident or uh, very much apparent uh, when you use the swarm the kind equals to swarm parameter and create the swarm plot which is another mode of the scatter plot the last thing which i will show you is is bit of a trick over here and uh, which is about uh, changing the parameters to make it uh, horizontal right now if you see it as vertical but if you want uh, horizontal then uh, i can copy this and it's simple thing is ship mode taking the ship mode from here to here we may probably look for parameter or something when we don't know and that basically going to take a lot of time but idea is that uh, on the uh, x-axis take cells and on the y-axis take ship mode and the and the chart will change automatically for the from the vertical to the horizontal so that's about how you can create the categorical uh, scatter chart and then the swarm plot that we discussed the querying data that we discussed over here um, to make our chart and make our analysis as in-depth as we want